been showing you how some parts of central Georgia are booming. But four out of the top five counties that lost a significant part of their population during the last decade sit in central Georgia. County and shows us why it tops the list. Business don't stay here long. It, it just is hard. Well, most of the businesses that I knew as a child, they've all closed and gone out of business. We have a lot of vacant buildings. 53 years in Atlanta. Good days are gone. There is a palpable sense of despair in Dooley County, and you can see why when you look at the 2020 census. The 400 square mile area lost a quarter of its population over the last 10 years. They had about 15,000 folks in 2010, and just over 3,700 people died or walked away. That's a lot for a small town to handle. At the Bobcat Zone Barber Shop, you can get a haircut for 20 bucks. Salethiel Turner, also known as Mr. Applejack, is a native of Dooley. He has 30 years in the business with a steady clientele, but not a lot of younger guys walk in the door. When I was coming up, I, we had a lot of things going on, like recreation and a lot of different things, but now kids don't have that much to do around here now, and the business don't stay here long. Dooley also has an aging population. 21% are 65 or older. The county is also dealing with 27% of its population living in poverty. The median household income is $37,000. And I'm not saying this ugly, we just are. We're poor counties. I mean, we don't have, we don't have the means, we don't have the tax base. And we're never going to get the Toyo tire industry. We're never going to get the Amazons come here. Myron Mixon is a five-time world champion on the barbecue stage. He's a celebrity, but he's also the mayor of Unadilla, a town with empty storefronts where weeds and vines are the only tenants. He says with the new numbers, they've cut all the pork out of the budget because even with the exodus, towns in Dooley still have to pay for fire trucks, roads, and schools. To keep things in motion, they depend on Uncle Sam. You know, all these uh, grant programs through state and feds come down based off your uh, census. So we're not spending anything uh, extra until we see how it all shakes out. And here's another thing to think about. Churches rarely get help from the federal government. They depend on donations. Just looking at the number, they're not people to draw from. Bobby West is the pastor of Bethel Baptist Church. He says he's got about 140 folks at his Sunday service. If I had to uh, rely just on people that live here, this church would be in trouble. And the sad thing is when you see a church close, that breaks my heart when I see it. Those little churches are gone. A lot of them are gone. They left nothing but the cemeteries. There are no easy answers. Bobby and his church hope to attract new users through social media. As for Myron and Unadilla, our only hope and savior is to be a bedroom community to Houston, which is booming left and right. Do what I'm supposed to do and keep living and pray to God. A prayer that Dooley County will pull through to better days. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. While Dooley County faces the largest population decline, they're certainly not alone. As we told you, four of the top five counties facing a dramatic population decline are right here in central Georgia. Telfair County is right behind Dooley with just over 24% of the county's population gone in the past decade. Macon and Pulaski are also in the top five counties with 18% of their residents either moving out or dying. 